this is amazing now we are going to see how you can fine-tune flux locally on your computer using AI toolkit before fine-tuning when you ask it to create a image it's going to look modern but after fine-tuning with vintage images you can see for the same prompt I get an output like this so how can you do this and also how can you do this locally on your computer with a graphic card that's exactly what we're going to see today let's get started hi everyone I'm really excited to show you how you can fine-tune flux flux is an image generation model where you can generate image just by giving a prompt and this is one of the best model available for free you can see stunning images created using flux and what if you can fine-tune or train a specific style or you can even train with your own image or own face and then generate image with your face in this we are going to input images like this which are vintage images kind of old look and then ask it to generate images so we are going to use flux dev so by default if I ask it to create an image like this a man standing on a boat and click generate here is the output so this image looks modern so by feeding images like this we are going to make it to generate vintage images I'm going to take you through step by step how you can configure how you can prepare data set how to run training how to run the trained model but before that I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my youtube channel so do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you in this we are going to use AI toolkit it's an easy to use tool to train a image model such as flux also I'm going to use mask compute for my virtual machines which can be used to train the large language model and you can use a6000 or a5000 for 50% off if you use Mervin Prisoner's coupon code. So I'm using two graphic card RTX A6000. You can see the hardware requirements, 32 GB VRAM for a base model and other requirements. In your terminal, git clone AI toolkit and then click enter. Next, navigate to the AI toolkit folder. Export your hugging face token like this. This is used to download the flux model. You can generate hugging face token from huggingface.co. Next, pip install torch and peft. Torch is a required package and PEFT is for inference. After this, click enter. Now it got installed. Now pip install hyphen our requirements.txt and then click enter. This includes all the required dependencies. Next, git submodule update init recursive and then click enter. Because this uses many other git submodules. I'll put all the commands and the code in the description below. Now let's open this folder in VS Code. Here is the folder structure. So if you go to config examples, and then train LoRa, that is the main configuration. So you can change your settings, such as which folder you want to save the model, then the folder for your dataset. So I've created a folder called dataset, as you can see here, and I've added the images, and the caption is TXT format. I will show about dataset in a moment. Then you've got batch size steps. Steps could be 500 to 4,000. I've decreased that to 500 to keep this tutorial quicker. Also, I've decreased the width and height to 512 all other things I'm just keeping the same so that is configuration so step number one configure is done now we are going to prepare data set so as we've seen before I've created the folder called data set and have image and text so let's say image number one so here is the image number one and a vintage image the image seems to be taken with the old camera so that's the look we need whenever we generate an image so even if we see the caption for that it's in txt format a stylish woman confidently walks her dog dressed in a sleek black suit pad with white loafers. So that is the caption for this image. Similarly, we have various vintage images, as you can see here, and this will be used as the training dataset. And for each image, a caption is also available with the same name as you can see here. So for image number one, this is the caption, 1.txt. And the image is 1.jpg. So in this way, you can prepare your images that is the data set and in the configuration we've already said the folder part that is data set and the caption is in the txt format now step number three running training so coming to our terminal python run.py and then provide the path to the configuration so it's in config examples folder as we saw before it's in config examples folder the train lora file is there so that's the main configuration and that's what we are mentioning the path here after this click enter now you can see it started running here you can see the configuration printout 
it's downloading the required model. Then it's loading the image files, that is the data set. Now it's generating baseline samples before training. Now you can see it started training and totally of 500 steps. Now you can see the training is complete. Now if you see the output folder here and your LoRa adapter, the trained model is here. So now you can use this model and then generate image. To do that, I'm going to write a code. So we've completed run training. Now final step is to run the trained model. So in your terminal, let's create a file called app.py and let's open it. So inside the file, we are just pointing to the main base model that is the flux one dev. Then we are loading the LoRa weights. So this is the path where my file got saved. That is the trained LoRa adapter. So I'm just setting that here. So to get the full path, you can go to the output, the folder name, right click here and then click copy path. Then if you paste that here, that is your full path of your model adapter. Then setting the enable model CPU offload and then we are providing the same prompt here. So this is the same prompt which we tested before, fine tuning. Now we are going to see how it's going to look after fine tuning. And this will save that in the output.png file. That's it. Now I'm going to run this code in your terminal, Python app.py and then click enter. Now it'll automatically get the base model, then it'll use the adapter. Now it's generating the image and it got saved in output.jpg file. Now let's go to the folder here, output.png file. And here is the image, a vintage look compared to the model look. So even in one of our trained image, you can see the glosses there were. So similarly, the model generated this image with a vintage look. This is exciting. Now you are able to fine tune Flux locally on your computer and also with AI toolkit. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.